Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen Woodhouse and today I've got a fun and easy project to share with you. This DIY pin board. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it. I love to use this pin board when I'm designing a room or brainstorming a project. I'll put all of my ideas and inspiration up on this board just to see how everything works together. I'm a really visual person, so I want to lay it all out there and see it all in one place. I like to think of it as Pinterest in real life. If you're not a designer or a decorator, you can still use this as a bulletin board to pin up your photos, daily reminders, inspirational messages, you know, stuff like that. So hopefully you'll still find this tutorial useful to you. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. A quarter inch MDF board, foam insulation panels, a stapler, some sturdy fabric, and a hot glue gun. You can make your pin board as small or as large as you want. Mine measures 24 inches by 48 inches, and I made two of them because that's just what fit best in my space. And I'll be sure to leave the links to all the tools and materials that I use down in the description box below. First, you wanna stick the foam panel to the MDF board. Apply a little hot glue, place the panel on top, making sure all of the edges are flush, and then press firmly to adhere the panel to the MDF. And if you don't have hot glue, you can use a spray adhesive or whatever kind of adhesive that you have on hand. You just want the foam board to stay put long enough so that you can wrap the fabric around the MDF board. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside for a minute and then move on to the fabric. I'm using a muslin fabric here. I picked it up at the craft store for about five bucks a yard. You could use any kind of medium to heavyweight fabric. You just wanna use a fabric that'll be sturdy enough to withstand the thumbtack holes that you'll put in later. We're gonna lay the fabric down and then smooth it out. Now we're gonna take our board and lay it on top with the MDF side facing up. I'm using a corded stapler with quarter inch crown staples. Of course, you can use a manual stapler. I just prefer this power stapler because I have literally zero hand strength. And make sure you use staples that aren't too long that they shoot straight through the board. These quarter inch staples will be able to go through the fabric and into the MDF without punching all the way through. So now I'm going to pull up the fabric taut and then start stapling in the middle on the long sides. Then I'm just gonna continue on down moving outward repeat on the other side, and then move to the ends. But before I staple the fabric all the way down to the edges of the board, I need to fold the ends up. And you're gonna do this like you would wrap a Christmas present. Just tuck the fabric in and secure it with staples. Try to keep the fabric flat so that when you go to hang it up on the wall, you don't have a lot of bulkiness behind the board. Wrap and staple the ends, and then finish stapling all around the perimeter. Repeat for the other end, and then you're done. Super simple, right? Next, I measured and marked one inch from each corner just so that I know where to drive the screws when I go to hang it up on the wall. I'm using two and a half inch screws with flat washers to hang the pin board up. I didn't bother with anchors or screwing into the studs because this pin board is super light. It should be fine without it. But be careful not to drive the screws too far in that they sink into the foam board. And the washers will help with this. And there you have it. It is that quick and easy. Ugh, I love being able to see patterns and samples up on this board. It not only helps organize and focus my creative ideas, but it adds such a beautiful interest to my home office. And I love that it's always changing. Thanks so much for watching. If you want more details on this project and other DIY projects, visit jenwoodhouse.com. And I am at Jen Woodhouse on Facebook and Instagram, so if you follow me there, you can see sneak peeks of upcoming projects. And if you make this DIY pin board, be sure to tag me on social media so I can see it. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Okay.